Autotrack work in progress designed specifically for manufacturing environment with the main objective is to help the production manager in tracking their assembly line activity and give the overall report by the end of the production. So the few objectives which can be achieved by work in progress including when the part being assembled into the finished product, when the finished product being produced for warranty calculation, what is the serial number of the part number used in the finished products? Who is the operator doing the assembly? And who is the QC operator doing the QC on the products? Where or which station the part is being assembled? And how many pieces of products being produced every month? These four simple steps you need to learn how to use the auto track work in progress. Including first step, design the job sheet. Normally this task is done by the supervisor of the factory or of the production line. Step two, data station configuration is also done by the supervisor. Step three, data capturing into our system. This operation normally is done by the operator and the last step is viewing the reports and by the supervisor. We take an example for the factory whereby they are trying to do a dome CCTV assembly. Okay, In this example industry, item used in assemble a dome type CCTV camera which model GS3540 including CCTV lens, motherboards, open board, connector, cable, casing, manual and box. We separate the whole process into five stations. The first station the operator have to do is fixing up the CCTV lens and the motherboards. Station 2 which is fixing out the cable to the motherboard and put them into a CCTV casing. Station 3 will be fixing out the firmware into the CCTV or loading the firmware into the CCTV. Station 4 which is quality control checking and station 5 is the packaging of the CCTV into the box together with the manual. Below is the sample parts used for CCTV production. The parts including the lens, the motherboards, the connector cable, the casing, the firmware, the manual and the packaging box. Before the production of CCTV can be started with auto track work in progress, the details planning need to be done by the supervisor. How many stations they want to configure for the data capturing and how you going to capture the product's information. Is it all the components come with serial number, batch number, or just the item numbers? Once this finish, the first step, what the supervisor need to use or need to do is basically configure or design out a job sheet for the CCTV. This is a screen showing that how you design the job sheet for your CCTV model GS3540. The information we are using for tracking including the lens serial number, the motherboard serial number, of course for sure the job sheet number and the cable and the casing batch number, firmware serial number, quality 
quality check by the QC and the packaging information. Once the designing of job sheet done, the next step will be configure the station for scanning by supervisor. To configure the scanning, the supervisor just need to go to the process listing. And select what is the station they need to configure by putting in it to true. True and true. Whatever information you don't need to show at that particular station. For example, in this case, it's member and lens fixing. We are not going to show the cable batch number as well as casing batch number. So in this case, all this information will be hide from the user. Once the configuration of the station done, the next step basically will be data capturing stage. The data capturing basically is done by the operator. Every time the operator run the auto track more in progress software, they basically will go directly into the station data capturing page. They will not see any of other configuration page. What the operator need to do, for example, in the screen show you the firmware loading station, the operator basically just need to type in the job sheet number, for example, 10040 and the firmware number FM009099 and then press the enter key or click the save button. The auto track will record now the date and time and the user with the job sheet number and the firmware serial number into auto track system. So every station will have different user. If you look at the slide here, Cindy basically is doing the motherboard and lens fixing station. Rocky is doing the cabling station. Joseph basically is doing the firmware station. Once this process is done, the supervisor will be able to view the progress of the data capturing or the process of the assembly of CCTV at different stage. This report showing you okay, individual station versus user on the action they are doing. You can see from here. Okay. And after this action, additional reports can be also produced by the supervisor with our powerful report configuration tools. For example, this is the first report showing you for model GS3540 on date August of 28, 2017, there is six pieces is being produced and different dates as long as you can configure another report which is showing you the different months versus different model of products